What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use Google Earth Pro to find area of a piece of land. So the first step, you just have to uh, click the, or double click on the application just to open to open it. So this is how Google Earth uh, Pro looks like. This is the interface. On the left hand side, uh, probably at the top of the, the top left corner you'll be able to see this uh, search field so you need to type in uh, the area where your land uh, is located so for example i'm going to type in uh, where i'm just going to type in city park uh, City Park Hockey Stadium, and uh, I think it's located in in Nairobi. So Google Earth is going to navigate to the place where that particular stadium is located, and uh, it's right here. So make sure that uh, you zoom in sufficiently so that you can be able to uh, see the boundary of uh, that particular land. So uh, I'm going to click on this node, then uh, click R and hold on. Then uh, there are two ways you can go about uh, measuring uh, this piece of land. You can see or uh, there's uh, something like a, a perimeter wall around that particular piece of land. And that's what I'm going to use to find the area of that land so the first step that we're going to use uh, on the top on the top of the application you should be able to see uh, the different types of uh, tabs but what i'm interested in is uh, this uh, show ruler this tab here show ruler click on that and then this kind of uh, a window is going to open up uh, do not close it so uh, set you need to set uh, the the parameters uh, you need to uh, select the correct parameters uh, for example the length should be in uh, i think meters will be should be good to go then go to polygon so whatever that you're going to find the the area of a land it's uh, in polygon format so i'm going to choose the perimeter should be in meters and uh, the area I want to select, you can select meter squared, but uh, you can go with the hec hectares, acres, but uh, I think uh, acres should be okay, should be fine. So uh, you need to find, I'm going to start from this point and go around the perimeter wall. So start from that particular point, I think that. Uh, perimeter wall which is this that particular point then third point just digitize all around so that you can then close at that particular point yes so you can you can be able to see that uh, uh, google Earth has already uh, provided you with the acreage so the perimeter is around 492.88 meters and the area in acres is uh, 3.86 you can actually change that to hectares so you can see that it is 1.56 hectares you can also uh, check to see in terms of uh, squared meters that is will give you that uh, result so you can go ahead and save these uh, results and uh, uh, so give it a name let's say area one like that and then i uh, click ok so that's it uh let's look at uh, uh, the second procedure let me just uh, close that and check that so the second way you can do that is by using a polygon so if you look at the tabs at the top here 
should be able to see something like add polygon go ahead and select it and uh, it will it will open also this kind of a uh, window so we're going to start before we, we start let me just do some changes go to style style uh, color and then the outline i'm going to change this uh, area so select uh outline yes and then the color i'm going to choose let me give it uh, something like yellow like that and okay opacity let me leave it at 100 and uh, so that should be fine and i'm going to give it a name let's say area 2 and say and then we're uh, going you should you should not uh, close it yet so until you are done with the digitization process is when we'll uh, be able to close so i'm going to start from uh, that point uh this is the second point third point like that just the same way we did with the first uh, area that then oh so he said let me the line should be let's give it yellow like that and then uh click ok to save so this is the second area so you can tangle in between area one and area two so this is area two so in order to uh, query the area find the acreage of this particular area that we've just digitized go to area two right click and then go to properties and then uh, under the under measurements you should be able to see measurements perimeter should be in meters or whatever you can choose the units that you fits your uh, purpose and then area uh, let me choose acres again you can see that uh, it's now 3.90 and also uh, i choose hectares it is 1.58 just like the first uh, area so those are the two methods that you can use in arcgis uh, in google Earth pro to find area of a uh, of a uh, property and uh, i should be i should emphasize that uh, this is just an approximation it's not uh, if you want to find the accurate or the precise area of uh, a piece of land then you should be able to use uh, the survey equipments like total station and uh, GNSS. So, uh, that being said, I think that's the end of this tutorial. See you in the next one.